Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big, big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. And uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You're going to learn some stuff, have some fun, maybe act silly and who knows what else. We work on all kind of engines around here, mostly boat motors, but we do other things. Sometimes. So, we're going to get back on this old Johnson. The Johnson 30 that had a headache. But, before I do, I'm going to run another motor for you, you may remember. And then, depending on how long the video goes, I might throw in a third motor. You understand? But, the one I'm going to show you right now, Remember that? Three cylinder, two carb mercury fitty. Well, see what I got? I got a good carburetor. I actually got two of them. So I throwed it on there. Let's see her. Let's see that beauty. Oh, she's a beauty. Sorry about that. Got you all up in the sky. There she is. So I got my little remote starter button open or clipped on. Let's see what she do. getting on that uh, tiller situation. Uh, 
It runs really good now. There you go, the Mercury, 1990, three cylinder, two carbonators, 50 horse, and I tell you just by, just by giving it a little bit of throttle there and everything, I can tell this engine is going to be fast fast for a 50 but I want to get it all set up for tiller handle shift throttle and all that so that's my next project on this and keep hunting for a bonnet but I thought I knew where I could get a set of carbonators and I did and so yeah nice motor so before we get on to the Johnson um, I'm going to do a little begging. Um, hopefully this fall, autumn, hopefully this autumn, um, I'm going to redo the garage door. I'm going to redo this area all behind me that is in need of redoing all behind me. So, if any of you folks out there got any, like, cool old outboard uh, decals, uh, the plastic emblems from a, a really cool uh, old outboard that doesn't run anymore or that you don't even have anymore, but you may have the, the emblem or something that came on it, um, doesn't matter what brand, um, the older, the rarer, the better, I guess, but not, not necessarily. If you have any old patches, uh, any kind of little old advertisements, um, you know, covers of old boating magazines, whatever. Anything boat outboard related, I want to get this all painted up and rearranged in here. I want to get new lighting in here. And um, the garage door's in really rough shape. So you go, well, yeah, I got some of that stuff. And of course, if you did send it to me, I would open it right here on, on, the, on the channel. And, share it with the other subscribers so uh, and you go how do we get it to you if you look under the description hit that show more my business email and my business address is right there and you just send it to that business address and it will come to me so enough of the begging but yeah if you got anything you'd like to see up here or whatnot um, any kind of cool old outboard related stuff send it on up and it, might end up on this wall back here, but it will for sure at least get a shout out in a mention. So, now let's get back on that Johnson. Let's get at it. And we got the new head, so I screwed the compression tester in the top. If I remember right, we had 50 on that one. Let's see what we'll get. Feels a lot better, that's for sure. We got about 110. 110 on the top. That's better than 50. If I remember right, on the bottom we only had 30. PSMS IMSS. So let's see what we get on it. Zero it out. So get on that. Again, feels a lot better and we've got about 115 which is better than 30 so there was our compressionis problemas problemo 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 so it is time to hook everything back up. 
as far as power packs and brand new coils. Go away, B. So we got a new head. These are L77 JC4s, brand new. Because the first thing people do when their engine quits running is go buy the new spark plugs. Because it's got to be the spark plugs. You want to stun us? Hey, I ain't got no spark plug on. Well, looky here. Brand new coils. Ain't that purdy. Okay, I got me a spark checker hooked up. Brand new coils. So, watch right in there action. And let's see what we get. We got good sparky. We got some good compressiones. Well, I'm gonna put a little tri flow in there just to help her to pop the light. Take off the spark check because we got good hot. Sparkums. Champions. And I have put the dielectric on here. And I should have did the spark check before I did that. Because now they're a little bit on the slippery side. There we go. I'm a winner. So what am I doing? I am doing putting these here sparkum electrodes in here because we are almost ready to stick this puppy in the tank you'll understand So, oh. let's see, what's the best way? Oh, I like that. I like that. How about this guy? Over the top. How should we do this? Mm, I don't like that. Let's try that over the top way. Let me see. Yeah, I like that better. There. How does that look? It looks groovy, baby. Um, I'm gonna ask her. Now this is the owner's. This says MagCore wire. Now he bought coils and the wires. But I've always been told to use solid core. So I'm gonna have to look that up, but I mean they're his his wires and he wanted me to put them on. So they on. I think they'll run just fine, but uh, 
I've always just been told to use solid core wire. Let's get this puppy in the tank. Yeah. somebody wants me to do. Let's see what we get. gonna see what I gonna see. Sorry about that. What I'm trying to do is open this little thing here, which to me, I didn't see no gas going through. But I think this wire is too big, too fat. So, let me find something. Yeah. So, this one's a little thinner. Let me try it. I got her now. 
Yep, should have got it. That should have got it. Sh -sh 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 yeah, let me see if I get some. Let me see if I get some in there now. Had to get me a little zippy tie. Let's make sure she's gonna go in. Now she's pumping. There it goes. So that was clogging. That was clog it up. Don't do you no good if it clog it up. It's not clogged now. I saw some go in. Hey. Honey. Hi. Oh, YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Got some lawnmower action somebody wants me to do. Let's see what we get.
anywhere on the head. about good to go I think I still got to put them little plugs I told you about in there so So, everything's looking in order back there, but there's holes. There's holes in the lower pan. Is that stainless? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a washer. Get down in the pan. I got to get that washer off of the pan. It can't lie be down there. Get it out. There it is. I'd like, where'd it go? Hey, I got the washer. I take it out of there. Alrighty, I found my glue. Now I gotta make sure that that roughly is the size. It looks like it is. Slither a little mither in there. Just like that. That's all you need. Do the same for that guy. Put a little on the plug itself. Stick it in a hole. Woo. Like that. Then I take the little bumpulin hammer. Don't that look pretty? Is this the same as This engine's theme is white and black, the propeller's black, the shift handle's black. So that looks just fine like it is, but you could always do that. A little bit of that, like this engine could use some of that. But anyway, you get the idea. Yeah, there's a little run action there, drip act. who cares? Engine needs motor mounts, needs all kind of stuff. It's sad because if the owner would take care of it, why ain't my thingy going up? Oh, probably that's broke. Who knows? But I think I'm in there anyway. You know. So, we solved the low compressionis problemos. We have uh, a bad head gasket and the owner had told me I put a water pump in this thing two, three months ago. And he told me, and, and it was shredded. The impeller was just shredded. So he had told me that uh, he had run it really hot getting back to town. So, 
instead of putting that head that came off of this engine back on, I went out to my bone pile, got me another one, just like the other one, in case that one was warped, it doesn't really seem to work. Uh, it could have just been time for the head gasket to go. And when he ran it hot, that probably did it in. But he bought new coils and then some new MagCore spark plug wires. I'll still need to check on that one. I got the paperwork that he had for this. And it says right there, boating accessories, new, premium, marine. Right in there. Marine spark plug wire lead Sierra part number 188816-1 application Johnson Evanrood 6 inch wire so they are marine spark plug wires so that's that we got here is a small but delicious Pacific halibut. Yes we do. And you get four nice big fillets. So, uh, I was going to get into another motor, um, and uh, but this video has already gone too long, so I ain't going to be able to do it. You understand? But I'm going to give you a sneak peek at it. You want to see it? It's a cutie. It's a little cutie. <laughs> Told you it was a cutie. It's a little bit Yamaha. I don't even know. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Up here. It's a six horse, I do believe. It's a cutie. And uh, she's a little rough. It's a little dirty in that car, but he ain't you. Can you see how bad that carburetor is? Ah, I think I can get you in there. See how nasty that is all up in there? But the fella say, he say, it used to run. It turns over. So I make it run. The little cutie. Got the built-in gas tank. It's got neutral and forward. So, I'm looking forward to getting a little cutie go. So, that's what we got coming up in our next video. And who knows, courses could change because the one thing that you know about this little shop here is you never know what's coming through that door. So, that's going to be a wrap, and thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass.